Hello everyone, welcome to the third video of the Excel Pivot Table Playground series. In this video, we are going to see how we can update a pivot table dynamically. And the question that we are going to answer in this particular video is refresh pivot with the latest data. And the concepts that will be covered is dynamically updating pivot when new data is added. So let's look at the problem statement first. In the data sheet, we have customer location and gender, and we have roughly around 249 customers within data. I've already created the summary and this is how the summary is looking like. Now we have some new data coming in, which we want to append to this existing data set and then update this pivot table such that we get the information along with the additional data that we put in the data set here. So if I try to do that by copying and then pasting the data below, then going to the pivot table summary and saying refresh, the data is not going to be added. What we need to do is you have to go to the change data source on the analyze tab, say change data source, reselect the entire table and then say, okay, to get this information. Now, every time we add new data, it's not ideal that we have to go to the change data source and change the data source every time. So for this, what we're going to do is convert that particular table into a named table such that whenever data is updated, the pivot table identifies it and then updates the summary accordingly. So to do that, I'm going to say control Z and I'm going to remove the data that is that we added here. Now, first we're going to convert this table into a name table. So to do that, I'm going to the home tab saying format as table, selecting a table format such as this one and saying, okay, after checking the my table as headers. So if I say, okay, you'll see now this particular table name exists as table one. So I can just say as customers table here. And now this particular table name is a named one, which means if I see this particular list, you'll see I'll get a customer data and this is the data that will get selected. Next, now what we'll do is take the new data and add it below the existing data that we have here. So I'm just going to take this data again here, copy it and then paste it just below this particular table. Now automatically this particular table format name table format identifies that these are new rows to this particular table and it updates that table reference accordingly. If I just go to the pivot summary and then just refresh it, you'll see pivot summary will automatically be refreshed. Essentially what we have done is we have formatted the table to a particular name table. And then whenever new data is added, this table automatically expands to include them. That way, if you just refresh the pivot after adding the data on this particular table, the summary will automatically be refreshed. But be mindful that if you have some blank rows in between or complete blank rows between the data, then the table might not pick out the data below the blank row. So ensure that you don't have any blank rows within the data or else the table will not get picked. The best idea is to delete any blank rows that are available and then append the data to ensure that all of the data is correctly identified by your named table. So this, this is how we dynamically update our pivot table using any new additional data and refreshing the summary. In the next video, we'll try to create a histogram using pivot tables and see how easy it is to to do so within pivot table. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.